Hello students, I'm, I'm sure you're all in the pink of health. Um, <clears throat> let's quickly recall the previous class. What's the previous class? The Cyclone, the story of Grizzly Bear. Okay, who's the author? William Temple Hornaday is the author of this uh, topic. Okay, uh, Little Cyclone, it's the name of the Grizzly Bear. Grizzly Grey, okay, furry bear, okay, furry cub. <coughs> Here, um, this cub, you know, it is from North America, okay, uh, it's uh, for us a green color, that's why it's a grizzly cub, okay, yeah, here, what was the story, um, a mother, bear and it's a two cub, they are happy in the forest, suddenly a man shot, a man shot that, um, then, um, the mother died, right, this two cub, you know, it ran away, in that, um, Chilcot, that uh, forest, okay, in that hillside. But uh, after a while, uh, timbered hillside, okay, there it ran away. After a while, uh, it, it creep back and hugged this mother and just left, okay. Uh, this kids uh, wasn't aware of the mother died, okay, short. Then the next morning, you know, human grabbed this to cover, okay, to person grabbed this cup so one you know it uh, giggled and it what is scratched somehow it made a noise and escaped that much we saw right yes i hope uh, i hope i'm sure that you are writing the assignments please go through this two three times okay then although the other cub fought just as desperately his captor seized by then the other cub you know another person held that tightly okay captor on who caught the cub seized him by other hind leg at the back of its leg he seized he held there okay so that it couldn't do anything okay so dragged him backwards he dragged the cub backwards occasionally swung him around his head he hovered this bear just to, to pull it and hover it uh, above his head like some actions he he was doing okay to control this cub if he catch it definitely bite and scratch it to escape so that he was keep moving dragging and hovering uh, such things he was doing around his kept <clears throat> head and kept him generally encaged until ropes were procured for binding him until uh, he gets rope okay so until that he was somehow managed this holding its back leg okay then when finally established with the collar chain and post at the rear of the saloon and pro, uh, porcupine city yeah in that porcupine city he uh, he got the belt everything and he tied the rear of the uh, saloon means at the back of car okay um, there he tied this okay cage like there he tied it uh, where it happened the porcupine city he took there two legged animals two here two legged animals human mention the human okay less intelligent they are fully less intelligent than himself frequently and violently prodded the little grizzly with a long pole to see him fight yes this people you know this animal two-legged animal human you know they with a the, uh, big rod okay stick uh, they are poking the bear to see uh, it's annoying okay disturbing this cub grizzly with a long pole to see him fight see a dog also if we keep on disturb it goes mad right going on barking and get irritated similarly barely in the time in time to save him from insanity to get uh, mad okay like the insanity mad little cyclone was rescued by the friendly hands of the zoological society field then in after a while this cub you know it rescued by whom the zoological society field agent they rescued this from this two-legged animals placed in a comfortable box they placed in a comfortable box and feed them from all annoyances they freed okay they didn't this uh, agents you know they didn't disturb this cup and placed in a comfortable box freed from annoyance and shipped it to new york they taken to new york clear yes the next he was <coughs> read this paragraph 
Although the other cub fought just as desperately, his captor seized him by the hind legs, dragged him backwards, occasionally swung him around his head and kept him generally endangered, encaged until ropes were procured uh, for binding him. When finally established with a collar chain and a post in the rear of the saloon in Porcupine City, two-legged animals less intelligent than himself, here himself refers to the cub, uh, frequently and violently prodded the little grizzly with a long pole to see him fight. They were annoying, disturbing, barely in time to save him. From insanity, the little cyclone was rescued by the friendly hands of the zoological society. That means zoo, some people, okay. Field agent placed in the comfortable box, freed from all annoyance and shipped to New York. Clear? Then, he was at that time as a droll. Droll, small cub, you know, plain, okay, I'm using it. It's plain, like a childish, this cub. And rakish looking, a grizzly cub as ever stepped in a grizzly gray in this paragraph explain the appearance of this cub okay yes roughish looking and grizzly cub as ever stepped in a grizzly gray full moon uh, of fluffy hair its hair you know like a full moon of fluffy hair and two big black eyes sparkle like jet beads like a pearl it's sparkling okay this eyes behind pudgy little nose pudgy that uh, fat short and fat little nose yeah and it's not entirely uh, not at all suitable like that big uh, body right small nose then short for a, uh, a bear then excepting for high shoulders he was little more than a big bale of gray bale of high quantity of gray okay uh, gray fur set up on four posts of the same material this leg you know same size like a post okay this legs four legs uh, so it has uh, big eyes and uh, fluffy hair i mean fur and then post like its uh, leg, all these things explained here. But his claws were formed. But you know, everything is fluffy, looks very nice. But its claws, nail, okay, that is so dangerous, okay. Formidable meaning dangerous. And he had the true grizzly spirit, that power, true grizzly spirit he had, clear. Then he was at that time as a droll and roughish looking. A grizzly cub has ever stepped in a grizzly gray full moon of fluffy hair. Two big black eyes sparkled like a jet bird, jet beads of Kim. Read along with me silently behind a pudgy like a little nose, absurdly short for a bear, small nose. Expecting for his high shoulders, he was little more than a big bale of gray fur, set up for four posts of the same material. That leg then but his claws were formidable and he had a true grizzly spirit clear next the bear's nursery at the is it taken to zoo like nursery okay cage going to take wooden cage nursery at the new or zoological pass is a big yard it is a very big yard okay enough space ample space where then with a shade tree, the tree climbs, swimming pool, three sleeping dens and a rock leaf, it uh, never contains fewer than six cups and sometimes eight. Thus, uh, that place, you know, it's so comfortable, enough trees and a den, uh, then cliff also, rock leaf and a swimming pool, uh, all these things were in that yard, okay, in that cage. Then number of bears, six or sometimes eight, this much bear only can accommodate there, clear? Then, naturally it is a good test of courage and a temper to turn a new bear into a roistering crowd. Usually, you know, when it entered other crowds, that is all, I told you, you know, that concept. When you enter in a new hostel or college, the seniors were ready to tease you. They were waiting for it. Similarly, in this cage also, other senior bears were ready to tease it, okay, fine. So roistering crowd usually a newcomer is badly scared during his first day in the nursery and very timid during the next day. See here, you know, when this grizzly, the cyclone, little cyclone entered there, 
uh, all the other uh, bears, you know, it started to scream, making noise happily. Yes, we got one uh, bear, small bear like that. They were, they got, you know, to tease a person like that. It were uh, these uh, other bears were making noise. Then the first day, definitely they afraid of, right? The next day, if if it is timid, timid means very covered okay if we are afraid of they go on tease us fight us beat everything happen so scared during his first day in the nursery and very timid during the next day but gristle are different but this usually bears are like that okay but this gristle you know it's somewhat different from others they are born full of courage and devoid of all sense of fear it never bother about fear it, it is not at all afraid of fear okay then here it's born full of courage okay it never afraid of by seeing other bears okay whoever it is it is boldly just majestically entered there in that cage clear naturally it is good test of courage and temper to turn new bear into that roistering crowd we can test that a new bear whether it is brave or covered then usually a newcomer is badly scared, usually newcomer bear and all get up right, okay, badly uh, scared during his first day in nursery and very timid, the following day it become very timid, covered and it afraid of, okay. But gristles are somewhat different, they are born full of courage and devoid of, devoid of without any sense of fear, okay, fear. The next step. When little cyclones traveling the box and opened and he found himself free in the nursery, he stopped deliberately to the center of the stage. See here, you know, they just opened that, let it go. Okay. So it was looking and majestically entered there. Okay. In that box. Then he stopped means walk deliberately, very bravely. Okay. Just let's see. Like that a manner it was walking. To the center of the stage, halted and calmly looked about him. Yes, halted means stopped. It reached at the center and stopped there. Take a round. Okay, take a look around. Uh, very boldly, bravely. And his air and manner said plainly as English. Yes, it's a look, you know. It's a conveying a message to other bears. What was that? I am bristly from Alaska. Yeah, it's introducing itself. Okay, I am bristly cub from Alaska and I have come to stay yes I have come to stay here and if any of you fellow think there is anything coming to you from me come and take it yes if any one of you think you that could tease me or beat me or fight with me just come and get from me like that way of looking okay it had a look around the this yard clear when let a cyclone traveling box was opened and he found himself free in the nest. Freely it entered. Okay. And stopped. Walked deliberately to the. It is not afraid. We people are afraid of new places, right? But this, you know, bear, uh, this cub, you know, never afraid of. Just boldly, bravely it um, go ahead. Then halted and calmly looked about him. His hair and manner said plainly as English. Yes, it did look, um, took around and uh, you know, it plainly it is conveying a message by seeing them. Okay, I'm grizzly uh, bear from grizzly from Alaska, and I have come to stay. If any one of you fellow think there is uh, anything coming to you, you may think that uh, I can tease you, beat you, fight with you, right? Just come and take it like that. It says clear. Then little sir, another one bear in that cage, six bears, right? So six or eight bears. So one bear, you know, it's named Sir. A very saucy, saucy, rude, impertinent, okay. But good natured. European brown bear cub. It's a European brown bear cub. Walked up and aimed the sample blow at Cyclone's left ear. It's a, what is this? Bet this new bear, Cyclone. Quick as a flash overshot Cyclone's right bar as only grizzly can strike and caught the wood be has around the side of the head. Immediately when it came, it's a big bear, okay, it came and it bet that little grizzly. Immediately within a fraction of second it orders uh, give a nice beat against this on its um, <coughs> notice face and 
that you know it ran away we quickly got afraid and it didn't expect okay let us say a very saucy and good natured european brown bear walked up and aimed a sample blow cyclones left ear quick as a flash immediately it gave overshot cyclones right path okay as only grizzly can grizzly only can strike other bear you know to afraid of and to run away and caught the would be hazer on the <coughs> um side of the head the side of the head it also strike amazed and confounded confounded confused with that bear you know sir is uh, sir didn't expect that okay from this cyclone sir fled like a wild hare to run away okay next in order next another bear king okay majestically that approach a black bear cub another one black bear cub twice the size of cyclone twice the size with that much bulk okay fat made a pass at the newcomer and he too received to fear a counter change that the ignominiously quit the field and scrambled to the top of the cliff that also came on its way and got afraid and it ran away okay at the top of the cliff so this two thing happened there then cyclone you know uh, consensually met every attack yes consensually meaning very boldly okay it met every attack all the one by one they were trying to attack it also gave against that okay counter then a real or fake faint meaning fake that was made upon him in less than an hour it was understood by every bear in the nursery that the cure looking gray fellow with a broad head and a short nose could strike quick as hard it's a long sentence okay and that he could fight any other bear on three seconds notice yes so by seeing this attack by this little cyclone you know by seeing its attitude other bears understood clearly what we cannot fight with this little grizzly right then we get definitely we get so within 3 seconds they understood the manner of this little cyclone clear yes cyclone consensually met every attack and to real or fake faint that was made upon him in less than an hour it was understood by every bear in the nursery that that cure looking gray fellow with a broad head yeah it's look very broad head and short notes a nose could strike quickly as hard as yes, if we beat definitely we get back like that they understood that he could fight any other bear within 3 second notice by seeing within 3 seconds it can fight with that boldly can fight with that then from that time on cyclone's position has been assured from that time onwards it got respect okay assured promised guaranteed we cannot fight with this and he is treated with the respect that could forum inspires is after that you know this little cyclone was treated with the respect no one ready to tease it okay because they understood its manner but being really a fine spirited dignified little grizzly he attacks no one and never has had a fight actually this uh, bear you know had no the Uh, manner of fighting each other okay uh, they are so gentle only but if anyone attacks it never me okay that is all uh, he attacks no one and never have has had a fight never fight with anyone so smooth in that yard that is all clear that much please uh, read this see some more tough words are there meanings also you need to learn this and uh, read this two three times so please read this and uh, do the assignments you have to write this whole story okay two three times so please write in your own words then uh, spellings also please study that then uh, i already told you they may ask any one sentence and uh, ask you who's the speaker so in that level read it thoroughly and make notes okay uh, two three times uh, the character of uh, sir and uh, this gris bear and its mother how many cup two cup right that the river chilkat river all these important points so please learn that clear then some book bag ex- exercises question answers please go through that okay learn it uh, 
then one word is also given. Choose the correct answer. Then story is given. Please go through this and uh, identify, read the story and to do the exercise. It's very easy for you. Then flip page number 150. Mm, the history of teddy bear is given. In 1902, American President Theodore Roosevelt, who is known as Teddy, um, uh, participate in uh, bear hunting trip in Mississippi. Mississippi, uh, he uh, went to a trip, okay, bear hunting. Uh, while hunting, Roosevelt declared the behavior of the other hunters unsportsmanlike after refused to kill bear they had captured. Yes, they, uh, they captured uh, that, um, yeah, this man, you know, Thoreau, I mean, Teddy wasn't uh, satisfied by hunting this animals. Okay, so ref he refused to kill this bear. Uh, so this news is spread all over everywhere. As news of the hunting trip spread, many newspapers around the country featured, featured many showed political cartoons standing, Teddy and the bear. Yeah, both they uh, used some cartoon photos and uh, spread this news. In the meanwhile, in Brooklyn, New York, Okay, in that place, Brooklyn place, a shop owned named Morris Mitchell saw one of the cartoons, he had an idea. Yes, see, by seeing that cartoon, he st stuck an idea. Okay, what was that Mitchell? And his wife created plush. Plush meaning with velvet cloth, they started to make the bear. Okay, teddy bear. Stuffed bears placed them in front of window of their shop with the permission of Roosevelt. Mitchell named the bear teddy bear. Like that. Uh, the teddy bear at first started. This is what the history of this teddy bear. Clear? So read this also. So I stop here. Please read it and go through. Do the assignments well. Okay. Thank you. Meet you in the next class.